gets a miracle. My miracle is Margot Ross Spiegelman. John, the true question, yeah. do paper towns even exist and kind of where did the concept come from? Yes, paper towns are real. Um, so uh, a paper town is a fake town that's created by map makers as a copyright trap. So if they see that same fake town on someone else's map, they'll know that their map has been stolen. And map makers have been doing this for hundreds of years. Google Maps still does it, Apple Maps still oh, does yeah. it. Every, every couple of years they get caught doing it and they have to say that it was an accident, but it's not an accident, it's a way of protecting <laughs> copyright. Um, and I discovered it because I was actually on a road trip and, and happened to cross a paper town and then started doing research about it. But I just find it fascinating because for me it's an example of how important the way we imagine the world is because the way we imagine the world ends up shaping the actual world that we live in. Being young actors, I'm sure you don't have a long list of love scenes under your belt. So yeah. tell me, filming the scene in the woods, was it awkward? How was it? How was it, Jess? <laughs> This is a terrible kisser. No, um, oh I'm just kidding. God. That was a joke. It that was actually really, um, it was really sweet and really easy because we l genuinely like each other yeah. and trust each other and already had a relationship um, and, and had been in the skin of the characters for a little while too. So it just felt really natural and, and sweet and comfortable. Yeah. By the same time, still kind of uh, playfully awkward. And, it was, yeah, yeah. It was nice. I'm going with you. If she's going, I'm, I'm definitely going. Take a risk. Stop playing it's so safe. Maybe that's what she's been trying to tell me the whole time. So there's a scene kind of when uh, Ben tells Lacey, you know, Margot doesn't deserve you. You know, doesn't deserve your friendship. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Ben feels that way? I don't think that she, he, she treated Lacey very well, it seems. She just sort of like took off and like took no, didn't tell her anything and yeah. Uh, in a way that was sort of unfair. So he wasn't just trying to make a move? No, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't no know, not I at all. So. I think that's what I actually love most about that scene is it is so genuine. It's, it's the, I think maybe the most, not the most, but it's one of the first moments you see Ben being just a genuinely nice guy and it's what Lacey, you know, ultimately sees in him is, and appreciates about him is that she is, he is able to see her for the way she wants to be seen and not for the way everyone else sees her, which is just for being the popular pretty girl in yeah. school. So something I noticed throughout <laughs> the film is your characters don't necessarily express any frustrations toward Margot the way the other characters did, especially like Ben and Lacey. Mm -hmm. So it raises the question, do Radar and Angela, are they frustrated? Do they feel any resentment toward Margot? I think Radar is um, frustrated with Q's obsession with Margot. I think I don't think he has enough of a relationship with Margot to kind of, you know, put judgment on her. Um, and plus, I feel like he has a lot already occupying his mind uh, with Angela and with his parents and Black Santas and stuff. Uh, <laughs> and uh, but I, I feel like he cares about his friend and like he wants to help his friend. And I think that he might just have some slight irritation with you know, this whole deal, especially cause since he wants to get back for prom and he thinks that's more important. Yeah. Living out your teenage years, your teenage milestones than pining after some Yeah, girl. I think for Angela, it's probably just more about the adventure than Margot because right. he, you know, comes to my window and is like, I'm, yeah. Uh, it's a chance to go on an yeah, adventure with a boy. Exactly, so it's more about this for her than uh, actually finding Margot.